we are going to write sentences get ready with your book and your pencil so your task today is to write simple sentences about the pictures in paragraphs using magic words formula do you know what is magic words formula so let's learn today before that i would like to introduce what makes a story so there are three components in making a story number one character number two setting and number three plot so the characters are divided into two components number one people number two animal or animals can you give me example of people can you give me example of animal or animals just list two for each components so for the setting we have two different parts of setting the first one is time and the second one is place the time maybe the time here maybe afternoon monday sunday evening and about the place can you give me example of places library school market and you need to look at the pictures where are they and what about time when's when is when did you go to the to school so feeling and mood these words are we we are going to use the words to describe our feeling happy then shock the third one sad scared surprise birthday party surprise angry can we read the words together happy sad shock scared surprise angry can you identify another feelings now we will learn about weather what's the weather today look outside the window oh it's cold it's windy it's breezy it's raining it's cloudy and it's hot we read the words together hot cold windy raining breezy and cloudy next now we are going to learn about magic words there are 10 words that you need to memorize i impian it was w really went s suka saw p pergi pitit h hotel helped g guna gave t tongkat tank a ajaib eat or drank t tampa told and d dudu describes these i combine all of this word to for name 
made the mnemonics. So how to describe happy, sad, shock, scared. So this is the mnemonic impian Willy suka pergi hotel kuna tongkat ajaib tanpa duduk. Memorize the words and use the first letter to memorize the magic words. So let's practice. So the magic words for the time it was places Ali went verb saw she saw verb pitied he pitied help he helped he gave to the he thank ate and drank he ate or drank and he told we use only he so for describe you need to think on your own on how to write sentences So for the eight and drank, you must differentiate. Okay, next. The first I time, it was. It was Saturday. It was holiday. It was evening. It was recess. It was morning. It was afternoon. It was 8 o'clock. I impian. Remember, it was. Can you give me two more examples on how to write sentences? It was. Then we go to W. Willy. Ali went to the stall. Ali went to the beach. Ali went home. Ali went, let's guess. Yes, you are correct. Ali went to the forest. Let's look at the next the next picture. Yes, Ali went. Yes. Great. Ali went to the garden. Next picture. Your turn. Ali went and this is the last picture Ali went saw S for saw Suka she saw yes she saw a girl she saw a baby she saw a boy she saw your turn. She saw your turn. And what is that? She saw a wallet. Next, P. Pitied. He pitied. Yes, he pitied a girl. Next, he pitied the baby. He pitied the boy. He pitied the woman, the man, and the cat. He pitied the cat. H helped. He helped. He helped the same picture. He helped the girl. He helped. Yes, the baby. He helped the boy. He helped the woman. He helped the man. And he helped the last one is... So for the verb, G gave, she, he, they gave, her, his, their. So choose only one. She is for her, his is he is for his, 
and day is for dear. She gave her his dear, her cat. Next, he gave his book. Yes, you are correct. She gave her baby. It's not his baby. They gave their presents. She gave, yes, her cake. Then the letter T, thank, he thank the girl. He thank the boy. He thank the woman. He thank the man. And for A, eat and drink. Remember, eat for the food, drink for the drinks. He ate, eat or drank. He ate an apple. He drank a cup of coffee. He ate a cake. He ate a bun. He ate or drank the last one. Write down the answer for me. Told he, she, they told the, his, her, dear. Alright, let's answer on your own. And the last one is about feeling. He was or they were. She, he or she? She was happy. Next, yes, he was angry. She or he? She was sad. He or she? He was happy. And what is happening to that boy? Tired. And the last one. Let's revise. As Suka saw, P pergi pitit, H hotel helped, G guna gave, T tongkat tang. A. Ajaib ate or drank. T. Tampa tol. D. Dudu describe. Identify the characters, identify the magic words, and write the story. Now I remember. So now it's your turn to write. Let's write. Remember magic words. So this is a picture. For well, first of all, we have to name the characters. Who is that man? Who is that girl? Remember the magic words. I. It was. W when S saw P pitied H helped G gave T tang A ate or drank T told and D described. Remember which formula, which magic words that you can use to write the sentences. Remember the structure that from what we had learned in the previous slides before this. Impian, impian Willy suka pergi hotel guna tongkat ajaib tanpa 
Dodo. Sample of answers that I have wrote for you. It was Monday. Siti went to school. She saw a man. She pitied the man. She helped him. She gave her food. The man ate the food. Siti told her mother and she was happy. All of the red bowl words are the words from the magic words. It was when so pitied, helped, gave, ate, told, happy. Is it easy? Only simple sentences and you can write many sentences using magic words. Now, look at the second pictures. There are three series of pictures. Need, you need to name the characters first. And remember, I, W, S, P, H, G, T, A, T, and D. Impian. Willy suka pergi hotel guna tongkat ajaib tanpa duduk. So that's all for today. Thank you and wish you all the best. Try to write sentences using magic words.